News. <laughs> Hi friends, how's it going? Welcome on back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I do hope you are doing well, dear sweet viewer. I really do hope that namaste, my football friends. Still a bit ill, but I'm feeling a little bit better today, a little bit less sick. I'm going to throw our line out and reel in two articles today from the Daily Express talking about transfers because it's transfer season yeah first off could Chelsea actually be going for this loan move for Antoine Griezmann and what do we think or Griezmann however you say it what do we think about that and also a rated article hold on an article rating Chelsea's transfers that's a bit of fun not me them don't blame me I'm gonna read what they say or I should say speculated transfers rumors so then get comfortable subscribe like the video all that jazz do consider going to check out football yannick daily videos on my other channel of course talking about the world of football informal you guys seem to really dig it click the link in the description to go check out and subscribe to football yannick thanks guys all right then Let's jump into the first video and talk about the big Frenchman. Antoine Griezmann, of course a sensationally good footballer who spent the majority of his career at Atletico Madrid. Long had he been linked with Manchester United and it very much was a transfer saga. He himself said he was, what, 70% chance or close to signing for Man United. They courted him for a long time, as did Barcelona. And then he made a big announcement saying, no, no, I'm staying at Atletico Madrid. And then he went to Barcelona anyway for a lot of money, over 100 million. Now he's a good player, Griezmann. He hasn't scored a low millions of goals at Barcelona, but he is a good player. Obviously starts for France, starts for Barcelona. You're not going to be a bad player if you start for both those teams. Now, it would be wrong of me to not talk about the problematic elements of Antoine Griezmann. Of course, he did blackface for a birthday party, a dress-up party, when he was a basketball player and, you know, blacked up his skin, which, of course, is never okay in any context. And he was filmed in that video with Ousmane Dembele, um, you know, making racist comments towards... Uh, some men trying to fix their television. Very problematic. I'm not sure how involved Gresman was, but he was laughing at the joke and involved. Actually, he's done a few things. He's problematic to say the least. Um, yeah. So I've acknowledged the difficulties in his character there. Of course, he is a very good footballer. Um, I'm not going to just absolve him of the things he's done wrong because that's not my place to do that. But let's talk about him through the lens of football for a moment. He is very good and Barcelona are looking to offload his wages because they are, of course, in financial disarray. They currently can't register any of their new signings, including superstars Memphis Depay and Sergio Aguero. And of course, the player they want to sign on the most is Lionel Messi. And they can't add any of their wages to the uh, salary books. The salary books? Yeah, the salary books, call it that. So they're in financial problems and they're trying to get rid of players. They're giving players away for free. And in this instant with Griezmann, they want to get him just off the books because they probably won't be able to sell him. There lieth the loan story to Chelsea. So let's jump into this article from the Daily Express and see what's being said. Chelsea plan to bring Antoine Griezmann on loan from Barcelona this summer, with Barcelona looking to cut several players this transfer window in a bid to afford to keep Lionel Messi. Chelsea are reportedly favourites to swoop for one of their top stars, Antoine Griezmann, 30 years old. He's out of favour of the Catalan Giants and looks set to leave this summer. Spanish newspaper Sport reports that Chelsea are the, quote, team that have been the most active in recent days. Griezmann will most likely leave on loan as Barcelona will not be able to command such a high fee for the French international. Yeah, pretty much what I've said so far. The forwards old club, Atletico Madrid, are rumoured to be interested in taking him back. However, Barcelona would prefer he moves outside of Spain. Luis Suarez left for Atletico Madrid the season before on a free transfer deemed surplus to requirements at Barcelona. He played a vital part in Atletico winning the league last season. So Barcelona do not want to repeat of that with Griezmann. Yeah, they absolutely ended the season with egg on their face, Barcelona. Suarez scored so many goals for Atletico Madrid and they won the league for the first time in a long time. Really bad look for Barcelona, just quickly on Griezmann. Of course, he was an excellent player for Atletico Madrid. Playing as a forward under Diego Simeone is actually a superb preparation for Premier League football. High press, 
high defensive football as in like he knows to cover spaces to fill in for teammates to work really hard not just be a sort of a luxury forward player that's perfect for top tier level uh, Premier League football. Since moving to Barcelona in 2019, Griezmann has amassed a tally of 35 goals in 99 appearances. His only trophy has been the Copa del Rey this season, which has led to critics suggesting that Griezmann has not lived up to his £110 million price tag. The World Cup winner would be a welcomed addition to Thomas Tuchel's squad, bringing in experience and goals. Tuchel is in the process of committing an overhaul at Chelsea this summer, with several strikers looking to leave, including Giroud and Abraham. The rumours of Erling Haaland joining Chelsea had the Blues fans giddy with excitement and now being linked with Griezmann as well as only heightened that. Yeah, you know, there's, there's the problematic side to it as well, like I've already said. Griezmann's preferred destination is reportedly Madrid, however this move doesn't seem economically viable as his wages are a staggering £600,000 a week. Ugh, mental. Only a few clubs could match those demands, and Chelsea along with Manchester City are reportedly interested who could afford that. If Chelsea pay 600k a week to Antoine Griezmann to just absolutely mash up our weight structure, stata? I can't talk. Structure? I would be upset. Sport added Chelsea are very favourably considering signing the striker on loan. It would be a gamble to outright buy Griezmann considering the money that would be involved, so a loan does look suitable. So a loan does look suitable for all parties involved. All right, let me tell you what I think about this. He's a problematic character, of course. I don't necessarily think he's an evil guy. I just think he's made mistakes, um, which humans do, ultimately. Um, he is a good footballer. There is a relative element of risk-free on loan for a season just to try and add goals and help win the Premier League if he is a good defensive forward. I would be compelled by this signing, but I wouldn't necessarily be over the moon and I'd be worried about the wage structure. So before I move on, I just want to put it out to you guys. Let me know what you think. Would it be a yes or would it be a no from you guys? Just give me an indication in the comment section by saying yes or no. <laughs> ding ding! Okay cool, let's move on to the second article and the second part of this video. Right, now originally when I looked at this I thought it was rating Chelsea's likelihood of signing of these players, but actually it's a rater of how they performed in Euro 2020, selecting certain players. So of course this isn't going to be talking about Erling Haaland and stuff, it's going to be talking about a couple of the players Chelsea have been linked to and of course played in Euro 2020. So similar, but not the same as I originally assumed. Obviously when I make these videos, I I don't want to read the articles first, I want to get the gist because I want to react organically with you as it's being read and that's part of the content. So I've done stitch myself up a little bit here and misunderstood the title of the article. But hey, rather than editing it out, I'll be honest and be real with you guys. Authenticity. So this is the Daily Express's article rating how Chelsea linked players have performed in Euro 2020. Let's jump into it now. Chelsea's summer transfer window is yet to truly get underway, but they will be impressed with how several targets performed at Euro 2020. While Thomas Tuchel and Marina Granovskaya began the process of moving on the deadwood in the squad, Chelsea's summer transfer window is set to truly get underway. The Blues are still yet to make a signing in what will be Tuchel's first full transfer window as a manager. I mean, it will be Tuchel's first transfer window as a manager, not full just like his first window. <laughs> but now that Euro 2020 has ended, Chelsea should be able to finally ramp up their business with many of their targets having gone deep into the tournament with their countries. Tuchel is aiming to mount a Premier League title challenge in the upcoming season, but to do that he will need reinforcements. High up on the list is a new striker, having seen Timo Werner struggle to adapt to life in England following his move from RB Leipzig last summer. A new midfielder and a centre-back would also be sought out as Tuchel and Granovsky look to improve the weak areas of the defence. Yeah, I don't think the defence is weak, so yes, he might want a centre-back, but not to improve the weak areas. Anyway. Let's read on. Here the Daily Express Sport rates four Chelsea targets who've played at Euro 2020 based on how they performed and whether they're worth signing. Ah, so it does talk about whether they're worth signing. A weird rating system indeed. Let's start. 
Declan Rice, 8 out of 10. Whoa. The West Ham midfielder and England international Declan Rice has long been a target of Chelsea's with Frank Lampard particularly keen to sign him during his reign as manager. At Euro 2020, Rice showcased all the talents that have marked him out as one of the most top defensive midfielders in the Premier League. He started all of England's games during their run to the final and was particularly impressive in the final. Rice would certainly be worth signing for Chelsea, though his performances at Euro 2020 will make him expensive. Um, he would be expensive anyway. There are actually reports suggesting Chelsea are going to put in a £55 million bid to test the waters, knowing it would be rejected and move on from there, but we'll see what happens. Let's move on to the next player. Manuel Locatelli, 7 out of 10. Potentially competing with Rice to be the new man in Chelsea's midfield is Italian international Manuel Locatelli. The 23-year-old made five appearances as the Azzurri won the tournament, scoring two goals against Switzerland in their second group game. He's also being chased by Juventus and Arsenal, Though the Blues may be better off bringing in a player who's already experienced in playing Tuchel's system, the 3 4 2 1. Yeah, Manuel Locatelli looked excellent as a CDM. He looked like a real goal scoring, threatening sort of sitting player. But maybe he needs an extra two players around him to cover rather than playing in the double six. Who knows? Romelu Lukaku, 6 out of 10. Lukaku is clearly capable of being an elite striker many people expected he would become at Man United. The 28-year-old scored four goals in five matches for Belgium at Euro 2020, but too often appeared isolated up front. Lukaku particularly struggled in the knockout stages, and despite his impressive goal return, Chelsea should look elsewhere for a new forward. Oh! Lukaku did make team of the tournament, and I think it's a little bit unfair to say Chelsea should look elsewhere. He is a complete striker, Romelu Lukaku, and many people will agree with me when I say he's got so much better since he transferred to Inter. Uh, Antonio Conte, as a world-class coach, has made Lukaku better. He wanted Lukaku for a long time, understanding his ability and knowing how to make him better, and he did. Antoine Griezmann, 7 out of 10. One secondary target for the new striker would be Antoine Griezmann, who looks set to leave Barcelona this summer. While it's been a mixed spell in Catalonia for the 30-year-old, he's routinely starred for France on the international stage. Though he only scored one goal in Euro 2020, that form continued at this summer's tournament, with Griezmann impressing in his four appearances. I have no idea why they've given Griezmann a higher rating than Romelu Lukaku when we need a proper centre forward, but still, we've spoken a lot about Griezmann in the previous story. It's interesting what they think with those ratings. Kind of peculiar in many ways, but of course Chelsea are linked to many other players who didn't star at Euro 2020, Stuart Manny, Erling Haaland, etc. They should have added Harry Kane in there if they put Lukaku in there. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know. Comment down below in the comment section. I'll be keen to get your thoughts on the transfer window, who you think Chelsea should be going for. Uh, who, you know, just any thoughts. Start the conversation up. I like it. Get down there. All right. Um, what else? <laughs> Malfunctioning now. Subscribe if you're new and all that jazz. Go check out Football Yannick. Click the link in the description. Thank you for all your support on that channel. It means a lot to me. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.